Just can't trust these young girls. Would you all please remain standing for the presentation of the colors and the playing and singing of our national anthem. You may be seated. This time I would like to introduce Miss Patty Tyner. Patty's activities have included student congress, cheerleading, the dream team, teacher education. Her future plans are to, in, to attend Emporia State University and major in elementary education. Patty Tyner. And welcome to one of the most important days of our, the class of 2001's, lives. This day ranks up with getting married and having children. It's such a huge thing that I'm sure some of us haven't even begun to comprehend it. This graduation is also such an amazing thing because our class has many great things to be proud of. We've excelled in many many areas such as athletics, academics, and extracurricular activities. 
We're a wonderful class. Um, and I was just thinking that what better to suit our wonderful class than some inspirational words that I was given from the Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go, by a wonderful, wise fifth grade class. Hopefully, this will inspire all of us to go on and do great things with our lives. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Buckbaum or Bixie or Bray or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. On behalf of the North staff, I too would like to welcome you to the 79th graduation ceremony honoring the Shawnee Mission North class of 2001. You may have already recognized the number of special people on the stage who came to help honor the graduates this evening. They are Mrs. Donna Bisfield, President of the Board of Education, East Area. Mrs. Susan Metzger, Vice President, Board of Education, North Area. Mr. Brian Sisney, Board of Education, Member at Large. Dr. Marjorie Kaplan, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Joanne Grote, Associate Superintendent, Administrative Services Elementary. Dr. Kevin Singer, Associate Superintendent, Curriculum and Instructional Services. Dr. Lynn Hanrahan, Principal, Arrowhead Elementary School. Mrs. Susan Knight, Principal, Blue Jacket Flint Elementary School. <laughs> Mr. Fred Vaughn, Principal, Neiman Elementary School. Ms. Joellen Ronson, Principal, Roland Park Elementary School. Ms. Darla Berry, Principal, Merriam Elementary School. Ms. Leah Pearl, Principal, Roseland Elementary School. Ms. Pam Carter, Principal, Rushton Elementary School. Ms. Diane Feely, Principal, Santa Fe Trail Elementary School. Mr. Mike Stouffer, Principal, South Park Elementary School. Mr. Stouffer has a special honor that he brings to us this evening. South Park Elementary School was recognized as one of the Blue Ribbon Elementary Schools in the state of Kansas recently. Mr. Stouffer is also a graduate of Shawnee Mission North High School. Three schools out of four recognized in Kansas were from the Shawnee Mission School District. Dr. Kendall Stevenson, Principal, West Antioch Elementary School. Mr. Jim Wink, Principal, Indian Hills Middle School. Dr. Lois Peterson, Associate Principal, Shawnee Mission North. Mr. Steve Shelton, Associate Principal, Shawnee Mission North. Mrs. Cherry Hannon, Associate Principal, Shawnee Mission North. Others on stage will be introduced later in the program. I would certainly like to thank those people on stage for attending and being a part of this ceremony and celebration. A special thank you to the lady in charge of this graduation, Mrs. Cherry Hannon. 
also to Cindy Gill, Tammy Reddig, and Jane Stubbs. Tonight, all of you will be a part of a once-in-a-lifetime event, graduating from high school. This ceremony will recognize 13 years of perseverance, hard work, and most certainly, accomplishment. There will be tears and cheers. Four of you, Josh Gordon, Emiliano Hewitt Vaughn, Joe McConnell, and Janine Sherman, have distinguished yourselves by being National Merit finalists. Yes. <laughs> Five others of you, Elizabeth Dagley, Jennifer Griesemer, Laura Orth, Emily Renner, and Carrie Rowe should take equal pride in being recognized as National Merit Commended Scholars. Your senior class officers, Patty Tyner, whom you just met, President, Josh Gordon, Vice President, Tanya Bennett, Secretary, and Rosie Garcia, Treasurer, have given the senior class many valuable hours of their time to make for an outstanding 2000-2001 school year for North. Your student Congress officers, Kirsten Camerdell, President, Carrie Rowe, Vice President, Marcy Madsen, Secretary, Secretary, and Andrea Briggs, Treasurer, have worked hard to make North a school of which to be proud. The Pep Club was also very active with assemblies and at games. The students responsible for all the excitement and enthusiasm are Allie Reynolds, Brandon Blattner, Ayata Brown, and Grant Strom. As you graduate this evening, so will 18 of your faculty members and administration be retiring or leaving. There will be five retirees, Jim Chapman in auto technology, Jim Hansen in Social Studies, Connie Bohannon-Roberts, Teacher of the Gifted, Steve Clegg, Counselor, and I will also be retiring. In these five people, there is approximately 160 years of experience with Mr. Chapman having, give, having given 41 years for students, all in the Shawnee Mission School District. Other faculty members who will be leaving North are Mike Briggs in mathematics, Vivian Graybert in French, Cherry Hannon, associate principal, Nicole Landeck in mathematics, Craig Miller in instrumental music, Kate Miner in English, Doug Murphy in Spanish, Jason Papke in science, Kathy Schmiedler in reading, Steve Shelton, an associate principal, Jody Stallard in art, Heather Strandmark in Mathematics, and Janet Steinmetz in Family and Consumer Science. To all of you, we wish you the best in the new directions you will be going. May you bring as much of all that is positive to the new endeavors which you undertake as you did in the time that you spent at North. Congratulations and good luck. These are great times of change. Technology is booming. The amount of learning and the ability to learn have grown almost geometrically. Faculties have had to learn more as students have become more computer literate. It is a spiral that at present seems to have no end. We are told that people change jobs approximately seven times in their careers and move seven to nine times during their lives. Both of these numbers may have increased already and certainly will increase in the future. Take time to reflect a moment. For almost 18 years of your lives, you have not made many changes. Certainly for 13 years of your educational lives, you haven't made many changes. Oh yes, you've grown, matured, changed grade levels, maybe even moved from city to city or state to state. But these first 18 years of your life have been spent in educating yourselves. Now the real changes begin. 86% of you will be attending either a four-year or a two-year college. 3% of you will be going into the military. 6% into full-time employment. And 5% of you will continue with other educational training. 
At this time, a little less than $4 million has been granted to this class in scholarship money. Congratulations. Each of you must answer how prepared you are for change. A diploma and a transcript will be proof of what you've accomplished to this point in time, but only you can answer the question of how ready you are to leave the security of high school and in some instances your home. How, you have handled, how have you handled change in the past? How have you responded to adversity? How have you responded to hard work? How ready are you? I know you will go forward in a positive way, most likely, building on what you've learned the first 18 years of your lives. I would only suggest three ideas as you begin this journey. Have the willingness to be committed to something and someone other than yourself. Through positive commitment, you will realize your own potential. Be willing to take responsibility for and, con and the consequences of your own actions be they positive or negative. By doing this, you will truly become men and women. Be willing to care. Yes, care about yourself, but to become a totally whole individual, find a way to care for and about even total strangers. Enjoy your life by giving to others. As you graduate, you will be given a dollar with Sacagawea's image. She was someone who knew about these three ideas and lived them as a 14-year-old. You are a diverse and unique group as a class and as individuals. I have seen this from the classroom, to the stage, to the playing fields, to the hallways, to the field house, to the auditorium. You have done many things of which you should be proud. Guide yourself through the changes that are coming. Be in control. Accept the changes that are coming to make the best of the rest of your life. One last request for tonight. You did not get here alone. Family, friends, teachers, counselors, administrators have all been a part of seeing to it that you are where you are tonight within minutes of graduating from high school. Thanks, someone. On a personal note, and really the only personal note I've done in 16 years of officiating at graduations, There are, three there are five people that I would like to thank. They've been a big help to me through the years that I have spent as a principal in Shawnee Mission and have helped me grow and have helped me do some things in Shawnee Mission that I greatly appreciate. Mrs. Cherry Hannon, who's been a good friend, who's worked hard, been loyal, done an excellent job for the students which he's touched. Mrs. Jane Stubbs, who for the 16th time has helped me with the graduation. Once again, a loyal friend, someone who's meant a great deal to me, has always been there to help me when I've been in trouble. Mr. Steve Shelton, who's somewhat new on the scene, but has done a wonderful job in the years that I've worked with him. The last two people very special to me. They've seen every graduation in which I have participated, and that's graduating from high school, graduating from college, and the 16 graduations at which I've officiated. My wife, Barbara Kruger, and my mother, Sarah Kruger. They're both here this evening. Thank you both very much. <laughs> Having spent 31 years in the district, there are hundreds of people that I could thank. I hope that you know how much each of you has touched my life. I appreciate each and every one of you. Class of 2001, celebrate your successes tonight. Remember those close to you. This is your night. Congratulations and God bless.
at this time, we'll have a song from the North Corral, You Are the New Day. Would the following seniors please line up to my left at the podium? Andrea Briggs, Jennifer Griesemer, Sarah Gunby, Emiliano Hewitt Vaughn, Catherine Kipis, Joseph McConnell, Laura Orth, Janine Sherman, Corey Simmons, Kristen Williams, and Amanda Wisdom. This time, while they're coming up to the stage, would these students please stand? Jeannie Akins, Jacqueline Crichton, Elizabeth Dagley, Megan DePaulo Allen, Brandon Frank, Josh Gordon, Jamie Jeffrey, Amy Peck, and Carrie Rowe. These students rank 12th through 20th with GPAs of a 4.38 to a 4.54. Congratulations. You may be seated. These students who are here to my left are the top 10. They will be actually 11. We had a tie in here. These students uh, are the top 11 seniors in the class of 2001. I will announce them in alphabetical order, and if you would please come to my right and stand and wait as some photographs are taken, we'd appreciate it. Andrea Briggs. Jennifer Griesemer.
Sarah Gunby. Emiliano Hewitt Vaughn. <laughs> Catherine Kepis. <laughs> Joseph McConnell. <laughs> Laura Orth. Janine Sherman, Corey Simmons, Kristen Williams, and Amanda Wisdom. The top 10 students, the class of 2001. You're welcome. This time I would like to introduce Tanya Bennett. Tanya is the Senior class secretary, has been involved in the academic decathlon, the key club, girls swim and dive, the National Honor Society, and her future plans are to attend Emporia State. Tanya Bennett. Good evening. As Mr. Gruger said, I am Tanya Bennett and I served as the senior class secretary this past school year. The Shawnee Mission North class of 2001 has chosen Ronnie Metzger as our distinguished alum. Ronnie is the president of Youth Front, a church assisting organization based in Kansas City. For the past 35 years, his life has revolved around young people between the ages of 13 and 18. Ronnie attended Santa Fe Trail Elementary, Milburn Junior High, and graduated from North in 1968. He received his Bachelor of Science in Church History with an emphasis in youth from Liberty University. Ronnie has helped to establish youth ministry curriculum and degrees at the university and college level throughout the United States. In the past few years, he has traveled worldwide training youth workers in Romania, Slovakia, Hungary, and Cuba, just to name a few. When Ronnie got married, he told his wife that they needed to build their home in the North area because his children would attend North. All three have since then graduated from North in the classes of 1995, 1998, and 1999. Not only did they build their house down the street, but his house has served as a home away from home for many young people from North since 1979. Ronnie is often heard saying, quote, my house is your house, party on, unquote. His daughter, Amy, graduated in 1999 and said, my dad is a man who won't say no to water skiing, scuba diving, a 15 mile bike ride, or to any student who just wants to talk. He has a huge heart for young people. He's a man of integrity. North is not just a part of his past, it's a part of his present. His youthful enthusiasm is still trapped inside him. He still cries when the marching Indians take the field during football and holds his finger high during the singing of the school song. Sometimes when older people speak, we tend to tune them out well, Ronnie has a lot of wisdom to share. Hold on to his words and take them with you. Please take to heart what this distinguished alum has to share. Now, it is my greatest pleasure to introduce to you, Mr. Ronnie Metzger. Thank you. 
I want to thank the class of 2001 for this incredible honor. Ever since your class president, Patty Tyner, called me to tell me that I had been selected, I've been overwhelmed. There is a flood of memories of my time at Shawnee Mission North that have been racing through my mind. I generally arrived at school for class at the very last nanosecond before the final tardy bell. That required precision timing as I raced down Metcalf in my 59 Chevy and then sprinted from the lower parking lot up to the building to make it for my first hour government class just in time for the bell. On more than one occasion, however, I miscalculated. The requi this required more strategic maneuvers. Since the door of that classroom was at the back of the room and my chair happened to be right next to the door, my buddy Rick Klein would simply shove my chair out into the hall with a kick of the toe. And then I would wait until the teacher was distracted or not looking, he'd give me the signal, and then I would just slide back in, fully seated as though I'd been there all along. I guess this is uh, called True Confessions tonight, and maybe it doesn't really matter all these many years later. I'm sure that each of you has your own unique memories of your time at North as well. And tonight is your night, your graduation, your commencement. But this is not an ending, it's a beginning, and you are embarking on the next leg of the journey of your life. In the history of Shawnee Mission North, including your class, there have been 78 classes of seniors that have graduated. Using my alumni directory of 2000, I made a rough estimate, and that totals nearly 40,000 graduates. I want to tell you about one of those graduates. This student graduated in 1963, and after his successful years in college, returned to North as a journalism teacher. Not only was he the first baseball coach for North, but he was responsible for launching the baseball program in the entire Shawnee Mission District. From teaching, he moved to administration. You could say he is one in 40,000 because what I tell you cannot be said of any other person that has graduated from Shawnee Mission North. Only one person has been a graduate, a faculty member, and the principal. And after 31 years of service in the Shawnee Mission School District, he will retire, and tonight is his final Shawnee Mission graduation. Let's say a great big thank you to your principal, Mr. John Kruger. Mr. Kruger, I'm honored to be a part of this graduation with you, and thank you for your service to the students of Shawnee Mission and also to our three children. Just two weeks ago, I was riding in a taxi cab in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The cab driver wanted to know what I did for a living, and I told him I was a youth worker from America. As we drove to the airport, the taxi driver wanted me to explain to him why the American teenager carries guns and shoots their school classmates. I was disturbed that a taxi cab driver in Malaysia had a distorted stereotype of the American high school student. Now, we're all aware of the big deal that the media makes over such incidents, but for every student that we read about that messes up, there are thousands and thousands more who are making a positive difference in our world. As I look at your class, sitting before me, the class of 2001. You are awesome. You are incredible. I can't wait to see what you are going to accomplish with your lives. Let me say to your parents and your grandparents, your friends and the others that are here tonight, that the students sitting in cap and gown before you are members of a new generation. The millennials, students born after 1981, and the class of 2001 is the first of this very special generation to graduate from high school. Many of us believe they are the next great generation. In the book, Millennials Rising, The Next Great Generation, authors Howe and Strauss state the following about you and your peers. And I quote, as a group, millennials are unlike any youth generation in living memory. They are more numerous, more affluent, better educated, more ethically diverse, more important, they're beginning to manifest a wide array of positive social habits 
that older Americans no longer associate with youth, including a new focus on teamwork, achievement, modesty, and good conduct. Only a few years from now, this can-do youth revolution will overwhelm the cynics and pessimists. Over the next decade, the millennial generation will entirely recast the image of youth from downbeat and alienated to upbeat and engaged with potentially seismic consequences for America, end quote. According to a recent Roper survey, millennials were asked, what is the major cause of problems in this country? The answer, more teenagers blamed selfishness than anything else. We have hope, and it's sitting before us here tonight. So when that Malaysian taxi cab driver asked me about the American teenager, the students I thought of were not the ones that he wanted to know about. I thought about how students at North were building a Habitat for Humanity home with two other Shawnee Mission high schools. I thought about the North students that had spent their spring breaks in Mexico and Jamaica building homes for those who had none. I thought about North students who spent a Saturday with several thousand other students from across Kansas City serving in inner city neighborhoods, planting flowers, gardens, playing, uh, painting playground equipment, working on homes, and so forth. I thought of students who volunteer in nursing homes. I thought of students who serve in North's developmental center, investing themselves in their peers who have exceptionalities. I thought of North students who this last spring break, in the midst of their grief of losing friends in a horrible car crash, unselfishly spent their free days raising money to help defray medical and funeral expenses. And so, Elizabeth Dagley and Matt Laskowski, I read what you wrote in the mission last week, and you were right when you wrote, and I quote, we only learn when we allow ourselves to step outside the comfortable box we create for ourselves. While learning to accept others means getting to know them, sometimes all it takes is sitting in a different seat, end quote. It's been written, to whom much is given, much shall be required. You, the class of 2001, have been given much, and you have a great opportunity to build on what you've already learned outside the classroom and give much back. As you get ready to set sail tonight on the next leg of your life's journey, let me encourage you with two words. The words, uh, these two words come from things that I have learned outside the classroom throughout my journey. These two words encompass so much and are so profound. And when acting on these words, so much falls into place. The two words, are love others. These two words are part of my personal mission statement, which is four words long. Love God, love others. I don't know what you want your mission statement to be for your life, but please write one. And I challenge you to include in your personal mission these two words. And if I can leave you with anything for your memory of your graduation, it would be these two words. Love others. Make loving others a daily goal. So much takes place when you love others. You find yourself giving yourself away. And it's the greatest legacy that you can live, loving others and investing yourself in them. Yes, I understand the pressures that you are feeling right now. Where am I going to go to school? What am I going to do? Where will I end up? How much money am I going to be able to earn? And these are all good thoughts, responsible thoughts. But may I submit to you that it won't matter how much money you've earned, where you went to school, what job you have, or how many degrees that you have earned. It's just stuff. The facts are, someday, we will all come to the end of our life. And when that inevitable day comes, as the hearse drives down the street, it will not have a U-Haul trailer containing all your stuff hitched up to the back of it. No, the stuff is left behind. So what can you leave behind that makes a difference? Your legacy. And what better legacy than, that, than you can have than that you love others? It's hard to be angry when you love others. 
It's hard to lie when you love others. It's hard to cheat when you love others. It's hard to be mean when you love others. It's hard to differentiate between people when you love others. One of the best things about loving others is that it doesn't take money. It just takes you. I know someone who has made a practice of loving others her entire life. Everything in life seemed to be against her. Her parents placed her in an orphanage when she was just four years old. Then they brought her back into the home at 14 to work and earn money. She grew up very poor and was never able to get a high school education like you and me. She had many opportunities to become embittered toward life and people in general. After she was married, she was widowed during the Depression with two small boys. Again, everything seemed to be going against her. She persevered, earned her GED, and taught herself to type with a book from the library. She became a bookkeeper in a prestigious insurance company and worked there until retirement. This last year, she survived breast cancer. It was her first time in the hospital since 1941. And when we left the hospital for her last radiation treatment, the doctors and nurses came from all over the hospital. They were so sad to see her leave. She had only known them for a short time, but in that time had left a legacy of loving others. So how do I know all of this? She is my wife, Susan's grandma. Today, she is almost 97 and she is a joy to be around. She gives herself away to everyone she comes in contact with. She is the embodiment of loving others. Even when she had nothing, she would go down to the City Union Mission to serve the poor. She never looked inward. She always looked outward and has given herself away her whole life. Not long ago, we asked her, what is the secret to her long and happy life? Her answer was profound, and I quote, In life, you can never give too much or forgive too much. That's the secret, end quote. And that's what loving others is all about. Make that your mission. Wrap it up in your life goal. As the millennial generation, you will lead the way, and we will all learn from you. And may I say to some of you, Patty, Amy, Allie, Abby, Nick, Elliot, Chris, Kirsten, Andrea, Megan, Emily, and Sally, and of course, a lot of you that I cannot think of and everyone in your class that I wanted to name, thanks for the memories of the past four years. I look forward to your future. And to all the rest of you, the future is in your hands. I challenge you to make the most of every opportunity to love others, to give yourselves away. And it will not only change your world, it will change the world around you. And as was written for great leaders long ago, I share with you great leaders tonight these words. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. May God bless you. Thank you. Ronnie, a small token of appreciation from the class of 2001. Hamill print of Shawnee Mission North. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This time I would like to introduce Elizabeth Dagley. Elizabeth's activities have included the Mission, Strolling Strings, and the National Honor Society. Her future plans are to attend Mid American Nazarene University and major in elementary education, Elizabeth Dagley.
Earlier this year, I was talking to Mrs. Silverford, the counseling coordinator here at North, in regards to a story I was writing for the mission. In the course of that interview, Mrs. Silverford said that it is important to recognize for high school seniors to mourn the passage between the life they've known for 18 years and the life they're about to begin. Doing any time there has been a loss or a drastic change, it is essential to acknowledge the transition. Doing so gives you the freedom to move on and greet the future with joy. But mourning the passage is not for today. Today is a day to celebrate. Success, individuality, independence, mentors, and the future. We are here to celebrate our success. Everyone here today has a story of success waiting to be told. There's nothing shabby about meeting 13 years worth of teacher's demands, homework, and classes. We have studied in order to broaden our horizons and expand our minds. Yet our class has also demonstrated success in extracurricular activities, community service, jobs, and family. I challenge you for just one moment to think about your story of success. We are here to celebrate our individuality. We have come together as the class of 2001, bringing countless talents, numerous interests, and a variety of religious beliefs, ethnic backgrounds, and experiences. In part, our individuality is defined by our relationships. Every relationship we have encountered in our lives thus far has demanded that we become more understanding, more accepting, and better communicators. The colorful collage of individuality that we create as a class both sets us apart and gives us a reason to celebrate. We are here to celebrate our independence. As we have grown, so also has the magnitude of the choices we are required to make. In the beginning, our choices were simple. As time has gone on, we have been asked to choose our own faith and our own attitudes. And while making high school decisions, post-high school decisions may seem like the weight of the world on our shoulders, the past 18 years of experiences have equipped us with the ability to make decisions and then accept the consequences whether good or bad. As we leave the security of Shawnee Mission North, we can be confident that we will be able to stand on our own two feet as the independent people we have defined ourselves to be. We are here to celebrate who we have become. Not one of us would be here today had we not had someone to encourage us and challenge us and sometimes direct us. This celebration belongs as much to those people as it does to any of us, because they are the ones who have invested time and energy into our goals, our education, and our interests. Today, they are the ones we listen for amid the applause of this celebration. We are here to celebrate our future. Where we go when we leave this place is completely up to us, and while our dreams may not always converge with reality, we can become whatever we set our minds to. The beauty of this celebration is that while one dimension of our life is coming to a close, infinite opportunities await each and every one of us. And so, while the transition may seem monumental and overwhelming at times, this day, this moment, is for standing tall and taking pride in who we are what we have accomplished, and who we will become. This day is proof that hard work, stamina, and perseverance pay off. Let us celebrate today our success, our individuality, our independence, our mentor, and our future. Let the celebration begin. This time I would like to introduce Josh Gordon. 
Josh's activities have included the NJROTC, football, track, the Dream Team, and senior class vice president. His future plans are to attend the United States Naval Academy. Josh Gordon. Congratulations. You have graduated from high school. You have finished the 13 years of education required for people of our generation. Now the question becomes, what will you do with that education? Hopefully, you have taken something more out of North than a bad case of sleep deprivation and a pair of lost track sweats. What will you do with that knowledge? We have been fortunate enough to have teachers and parents who care and the developers of the educational system who worked hard to give us the opportunities that we have. Not only that, but we have worked hard. Now I say that we owe it to ourselves and to our predecessors to do everything we can with what we have. There are very few among us who have ever known what it is to be truly deprived of something we need. This is not because of anything great or wonderful that we have done, not yet anyway. It is because of the great people who have come before us and the wonderful things they have done. What would our lives be like if George Washington and the other founding fathers had not worked so hard to create a fair and dynamic constitution? Where would we be if Brown versus Board of Education had not properly integrated schools? Who would be giving this speech if my mother hadn't met my father? We are the end product of many generations of people who worked hard to improve the lifestyle of those around them. Now it's our turn. We have a duty set before us that has become more daunting with every generation. As the world around us grows and becomes more complex, so too we must expand ourselves and our minds to deal with the needs of a more complicated world. Along with the ability to adapt, we must also have the ability to stand firm for what we believe. We must have convictions. There are strong convictions in the minds of the class of 2001, people who believe in God, in helping the environment, and in the people of this world. Many people of our class have already determined some of the things for which they stand, for which they are willing to fight. Some have even begun to stand up for these principles. In a world where many people go through their entire life without ever taking a stand, I consider myself honored to know these few brave souls who do not let the pressures of society prevent them from believing in and practicing their beliefs. When you leave here tonight, I hope that you feel proud of yourself. You should. You deserve it. But do not leave here feeling that your education is complete. Far from it. If anything, your education up to this point has merely been teaching you how to learn. Whether you are going on from here to a college or junior college, to the military or the Peace Corps, to the workforce or to wherever else you might dream up, keep on learning, keep on striving. If not, you will only let yourself down. The point of all this is that we should view graduation not as the end of our education, but as the beginning of our lives. Stay true to your convictions, but be open to the convictions of others. Be proud of your accomplishments, but remember and respect the works of others. Wherever you may find yourself in the future, do your utmost, not only to improve yourself, but to improve with those around you. If you see something wrong, whether it be in the hamburger that you're cooking or in the treatment of your fellow human beings, do not hesitate to set it right. Only then will we truly live up to the expectations of our predecessors and to our potential as human beings. Thank you. North counselors, please get the graduates ready to receive their diplomas. This time I would like to introduce the readers of the roll. 
Actually, I've skipped something. No, now you're going to enjoy this. This time, I would like to introduce Gina McFadden. Her activities have included being a wrestlerette, track, a lead singer for the North Jazz Band, and the fashion show. Her future plans are to attend the Johnson County Community College, Gina McFadden. Can't take away my day. 
Thank you. See, I didn't lie to you. I told you you'd enjoy it. This time, I'd like to introduce the readers of the role. Brian Alonzo, whose activities have included student congress, varsity tennis, jazz band combo, symphonic band, and the dream team. His future plans are to attend the University of Kansas and major in accounting, minor in music. Kirsten Camerdahl, whose activities are student congress, peer mediation, a peer judge, Soccer, tennis, and the dream team. Her future plans are to attend the University of Kansas and major in elementary education. Austin Castor, whose activities include the chamber singers, strolling strings, yearbook, advanced repertory theater, and the National Honor Society. His future plans are to attend the University of Kansas and major in music education. Monica De Leon, whose activities have been chorale, the lyric ensemble, and repertory theater. Her future plans are to attend Johnson County Communi Community College, and she will also have a modeling job. Laura Orth, her activities have included strolling strings, thespians, advanced repertory theater, and the National Honor Society. Her future plans are to attend Drake University and major in actuarial science. Your readers of the role. At this time, members of the Board of Education, ladies and gentlemen, the students who will be receiving their diplomas this evening have passed all requirements for graduation according to the laws of the state of Kansas and the Board of Education of the Shawnee Mission School District. I am pleased to present them to you for the presentation of their diplomas. The senior class has asked and said, we appreciate your sharing this special time in our lives and respectfully request that the audience refrain from recognizing individual members of the class during the presentation of diplomas. We want our names heard clearly. Thank you. The class of 2001, Micah Shea Acklin. Jasmine Jamal Abu Qasim. Sean Joseph Adcox. Kelly A. Adkins. Tabara Ann Elmore. Maria Daniela Aguirre. Jeannie Colleen Aikens. Derek Eugene Albertson. Jacob Aaron Alley. Michael Anthony Alonji. Brian Andrew Alonzo. Michael Alonzo. Michelle Lynn Ammerman. Henning Anderson. Alexandra Elizabeth Andrews. Sarah M. Askew. Raquel Renee Avila. Mary Christina Josefina Balda.
Brandon Lee Barkley. Eric Michael Barrett. Nicole Marie Batliner. Adam David Bennett. Tanya Lynn Bennett. Marissa Lynn Benskin. Stephanie K. Besner. Jennifer Nicole Biondo. Rhiannon Summerfield Birdsall. Jacob Nathaniel Dutton Blackman. Scott Michael Blackmer. Brandon Blattner. Amber Michelle Boyce. Rebecca Lynn Boydston. Audra Meredith Brandt. Megan Alexandra Grandstrom Bray. Andrea Lachey Briggs. Jason William Brinkman. Blake Nicholas Brooks. Ayata Brown. Jonathan Albert Brown. Rachel Lauren Brown. Serena Rose Brown. Trevor Miles Brown. Mark Timothy Brownson. Katie Grace Buckner. Amber Marie Buckley. William Michael Burkett. Lindsay Dale Burnham. Paul Derek Burnett. Andrew William Burns. Zachary Dylan Burton. Matthew Russell Cable. Ryan Daniel Cahill. Kirsten Ann Carmadell. Billy Wayne Campbell Jr. Paul Joseph Campbell. Ashley Ray Cantrell. Elliot Edward Carlson. Manuel Carrera. Bianca Carter. Edward Anthony Carter. Jason James Carver. <laughs> Melissa Dawn Cates. Austin Robert Castor. Matthew Ryan Cotto. Maggie Chelesnik. David Cho. JJ Critton. Megan Rochelle Clayton. Marla May Clements. Nicholas Ray Clifford. Elias Luther Kaufman. Patrick Lennon Coleman. Corey Christine Collier.
Catherine Elise Collings. Paul Allen Kraft. Cole Weston Cross. Jessica Christine Crump. Amy Michelle Cunningham. Jeremy Miles Dawson. Elizabeth Ann Dagley. Monica Ann De Leon. Bradley DeMoss. Mary Beth Brooke Detmer. Eva Nicole Deals. Victoria Ann Deals. Megan Elaine DePola Allen. Nicholas Kent Donnelly. Victoria Serene Downey. Greg Downs. Trey Durrell Dyer. Isaac Eastman. Adam Eugene Eisman. Jessica Ann Eldred. Lori Ann Elliott. Chistana Brian Eppers. Naomi Lynn Esparza. Bradley Allen Bayard. Donald Winslow Finnessy. Priscilla Anna Figueroa. Mia Catherine Philo. Megan Marie Fisher. Tyson Patrick Ray Fisher. Andrea Louise Flaccus. Matthew Carl Fleming. Sarah Ruth Fletcher. Amanda Diane Forbes. Christopher Vincent Foster. Heather Noel Freeman. Nicholas Anthony Frias II. Brandon Scott Frink. Kendra Ann Fry. Ryan Bradford Gaines. Michael Patrick Gallagher. Jessica Nicole Galvin. Rosita Lena Garcia. Maria Isabel Garza. Nicole Rhiannon George. Shayna Lynn Gibbons. Christopher Todd Gibson. Corin Charles Gold. Richard Michael Gomez. Joshua Kenetter Gordon. Angela, Angela Jean Gorley. Amber D. Graham. Lindsay Gail Greenleaf.
Dimitri Alexander Gregory. Jennifer Lynn Grismer. Sarah K. Gunby. Sarah Michelle Hall. Heather Marie Hardesty. Josie Ann Harmon. Bridget Hart. Kimberly Louise Heckman. Brian Christopher Henry. Joel Andrew Herman. Brian David Hester. Samuel Allen Hibbs. Kristen Lee Hodges. Brandy Joe Hopler. Ryan Wallace Hoffman. Stephen Paul Hoffman. Jeremy Luke Hogel. Shelly Diane Holler. Ashley Nicole Horn. Brian Todd Horst. Deborah Lynn Howe. Monique Howell. Cole Huckabee. Emiliano Rafael Hewitt Vaughn. Jeffrey Ross Hunt. Katie Joe Ice. Ford Embody. Aaron Michelle James. Kevin Lee James Jr. Ashley Suzanne James. Jamie Jolie Jeffrey. Michael Charles Johnston. Patrick Andrew Joyce. Justin Richard Camberley. Catherine Elizabeth Keepis. David James Keller. Bethany Ann Kemper. Nathaniel Lee Kern. Ashley Nicole Kilgore. Brittany Danielle King. Ginger Elaine King Burns. James Eddie King. David Aaron Claver. Andy Lee Clothermis. Joshua George Kobernick. Amy Elizabeth Kokoruda. Brett James Lampkin. Jason Michael Land. Megan Lynn Landernow. Matthew Wayne Laskowski. Dustin Lee Lawson. Carly Ann Leffert. Stephanie Florinda Leon. Lori Ann Leroy. Joseph Daniel Levins. Samuel Mark Licklider. Seth Thomas Linton. Timothy Joseph Lister. 
Don Marie Lofgren. Catherine J. Logan. Lillian Etta Long. Robert William Long. Stefan Lauren. Robert William Lubetsky. Kyle Pasquale Lapercio. <laughs> Tiffany Maxwell. <laughs> Drew Randolph Lesby. Tammy Lynn Renee Lusher. Johnnell Roxanne Lyle. Nicholas Maith. James Denton McKay. Marcy Jean Madsen. Michelle Nicole McGee. Terrence Daniel Manker. Justin Wayne Mantooth. Roseanne Duhair Marrowy. Catherine Elizabeth Martin. Travis J. Mason. Trish Elizabeth Masters. Kathleen Ferris Mayer. Joseph Pearson McConnell. Amy Catherine McEwen. Gina Lucy McFadden. Marie Nicole McFadden. Stephen Lloyd McGowan. Jason Alexander Melton. April Michelle McKenzie. Crystal Renee McVeigh. Ashley Diane Meadows. James Alexander Melton. Mandy Sue Mercer. Sarah Marie Maris. Brian Michael Meyer. Rodney Wayne Millentree. Adam Lee Miller. Scott Walter Milstead. Latrice Renee Mitchell. Jason Allen Modes. Yvonne Lynn Moore. Kelly Annette Moran. Anthony Joseph Moreno. Tara Marie Mosley. Coral Annette Munoz. Larry Morell. Wes Nelson. Talis Newell. 
Brittany Lee Newman. Susan T. Nguyen. Angela Michelle Nicholas. David Allen Nichols. Andrea Lucia Nunez. Jacob David Nutt. Joshua Paul Oaks. Aaron Michelle O'Brien. Shannon Taylor O'Brien. Jennifer Lee O'Neill. Aaron Michelle Orr. Laura Diane Orth. Anthony Richard Overton. Emily Kyle Owen. John Thomas Page. Stephen Anthony Palmerin. Jared Levi Panic. Ryan Von Pape. Wendy Ellen Parks. Heather Lee Patton. Leanna L. Peachy. Amy Kathleen Peck. Christopher Andrew Perry. Chad Thomas Phillips. Sarah Hamilton Phillips. Colleen Marie Pollock. Darcy Marie Porter. Robin Hasbrook Potter. Tamisha Marie Powers. Kowit Pramarnpol. Aaron William Pratt. RJ Premis. Anthony S. Pride. Michelle Lee Proctor. Kelsey Ann Patasek. Arturo Rene Ramos. Teresa Cheyenne Randles. Anthony Gerald Raymond. Bradley Scott Rigard. Emily Lauren Renner. Stacy Ann Resley. Justin Edward Ray. Sarah Christine Richardson. Kelly Lynn Riffenbark. Austin Guy Roberts. Gina Marie Roberts. Ryan Scott Roby. Nancy Elizabeth Rodriguez Rivera. Matthew Ryan Ross. Robert James Rausch. Carrie Lynn Rowe. Melinda Ann Rupert. Elijah Douglas Rushing. Aaron Christine Ryan. Crystal Diane Sahib. Janan Christina Sala. Brooke Elizabeth Salvaggio. Jessica Sue Sachuk. Jacob Austin Shearer. John Michael Schmidt. Kira N. Schmidt. Bobby Joe Schneider. Shauna Lynn Schultz. Curtis George Schrager.
Conrad J. Schroff. Aaron Michael Schwartz. Monica Sue Schweiger. Kevin Ray Seaver. Benjamin Morris Sefrovich. Alan William Sider. Jason Michael Self. Christopher Ryan Robert Selvage. Misty Nicole Sexton. Scott Andrew Shackelford. Joseph Philip Shamit. Jacob Lee Sharp. Amanda Jane Shepard. Janine Michelle Sherman. Anna Lynn Short. Andy Ryan Schultz. Nicholas Kale Siebert. Corey Roseanne Simmons. Nathan A. Simmons. Natalie Louise Scahan. J. Michael Small. Amy Louise Smith. Jessica Lee Smith. Valerie K. Smith. Jennifer Leanne Snap. Julie Melinda Snook. Jill Suzanne Summer. Frederick Aaron Spear. Aaron Elizabeth St. Aubin. David Byron Steinbrook. Patrick Joseph Stahlbomber. Walter John Steve the Fourth. Katie Christine Steinbach. Lance Alexander Steinable. Laura Deanne Stewart. Leslie Diane Stewart. Lisa Deanne Stewart. Jennifer Marie Stewart. Joseph G. Stewart. Misty Ann Stewart. Michelle K. Stringer. Grant Aaron Strom. Jennifer M. Skies. Emily Claire Tamblin. Alejandra Rosa Taza. Jonathan Tonpit Tantrum. Tristan A. Thompson. Brian Thomas Throckmorton. Nicole Dorothy Thurman. Patty Lynn Tyner. Rochelle Marie Tracy. Jose Hugo Trejo. Kelly August Up. Renata Angelina Velaza. Jamie Ann Van Gotham. <laughs> Vernon Adcox Van Waters. 
Jamie Marie Beasley. Christopher A. Viles. Mary Chris Adia Viles. Melissa Elise Vivers. Rachel Elaine Walker. Jason Weber. Eric Dale Welsh. Megan Leanne Wernis. Mark David Western. Christina Doak Williams. Frank Williams. Chris, Kristen Nicole Williams. Jessica Elaine Willingham. Tia Jandell Wilson. Amelia Braden Winsby. David W. Winters. Amanda Louisa Wisdom. Joshua Michael Weiss. Austin Matthew Whitman. Goldie Marie Wagamuth. Jeffrey Michael Wright. Scott Andrew Yeager. Ian Andrew Young. James Hiram Young. Megan Lee Zabodny. Paul Elliot Ziegler. David Matthew Zook. Emily Louise Zusich. With those students who will be leading the graduating class of 2001 in singing of the school song, please come forward at this time. Those students are Ginger King Burns, Kathleen Mayer, Jeannie Akins, Becky Boydston, Austin Castor, Curtis Schrager, Nick Donnelly, and Talis Newell. Would you all please rise? The faculty and administration now recognizes those of you who received diplomas 
as graduates of Shawnee Mission North High School. May you represent North with honor. As you move the tassel of your cap, we offer you our congratulations. Those of, you, those of you who are in the west stands and those of you in the east stands may come down onto the field at this time. We have a little bit of a special show for you over here to my left. Congratulations. 